What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Storm Striker here with a new Let's Play series for one of my favorite classic PC games from back in 2000 2001. I give you Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. It includes everything all the way to Act 5. Let's go in and make a character. Let's see, what will I be? Hmm. Amazon? Assassin? Necromancer? Barbarian? Paladin? Sorceress Druid I think I'm gonna go Sorceress Call you Dorm Good day. Oh, greetings, stranger. I'm not surprised to see your kind here. Many adventurers have traveled this way since the recent troubles began. No doubt you've heard about the tragedy that befell the town of Tristram. Well, some say that Diablo, the Lord of Terror, walks the world again. I don't know if I believe that, but a dark wanderer did travel this route a few weeks ago. He was headed east to the mountain pass guarded by the rogue monastery. Maybe it's nothing, but evil seems to have trailed in his wake. You see, shortly after the wanderer went through, the monastery's gates to the pass were closed, and strange creatures began ravaging the countryside. Until it's safer outside the camp and the gates are reopened, I'll remain here with my caravan. I hope to leave for Lutgulain before the shadow that fell over Tristram consumes us all. If you're still alive, then, I'll take you along. You should talk to Akara, too. She seems to be the leader of this camp. Maybe she can tell you more. Let's go talk to this Akara lady. But first, we're going to get introductions from everybody else. Welcome, Outlander, to our glorious hovel. I know you're here to challenge the evil that's driven us from our ancestral home. But know this, Akara may be our spiritual leader, but I command the rogues in battle. It will take more than just killing a few beasts in the wilderness to earn my trust. Hi there, I'm Charcy, the blacksmith here in camp. It's good to see some strong adventurers around here. Many of our sisters fought bravely against Diablo when he first attacked the town of Tristram. They came back to us true veterans, bearing some really powerful items. Seems like their victory was short-lived, though. Most of them are now corrupted by Andario. Darcy is where you go to buy your stuff in Act 1. Good day to you, partner. I'm Geed. And I can already tell that I'll be your best friend in this forsaken camp. A spare weapon, some gold, a small gem is all I want in exchange for the equipment you'll need on whatever quest you might undertake. No, 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 don't be shy. All of my items are guaranteed for life and come with a two-day warranty. Deed is your source for weapons and armor as well, as well as a little bit of gambling. More like an auction house type thing. The items will be random every time. And now we talk to Akara. Greetings, young sorceress. It is good to see more of your kind at work in the world these dark days. In my opinion, the world needs more women to fight against the Great Shadow. But I am forgetting my manners. I am Akara, 
High Priestess of the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye. I welcome you, Traveler, to our camp, but I'm afraid I can offer you but poor shelter within these rickety walls. You see, our ancient sisterhood has fallen under a strange curse. The mighty citadel, from which we have guarded the gates to the east for generations, has been corrupted by the evil demoness Andariel. I still can't believe it, but she turned many of our sister rogues against us and drove us from our ancestral home. Now the last defenders of the sisterhood are either dead or scattered throughout the wilderness. I implore you, stranger, please help us. Find a way to lift this terrible curse, and we will pledge our loyalty to you for all time. There is a place of great evil in the wilderness. Kasha's rogue scouts have informed me that a cave nearby is filled with shadowy creatures and horrors from beyond the grave. I fear that these creatures are massing for an attack against our encampment. If you are sincere about helping us, find the dark labyrinth and destroy the foul beasts. May the Great Eye watch over you. All right, we have our first mission to do. Let's check the quest log. Look for the den in the wilderness outside the rogue's camp. That's what we're going to be doing. The den of evil. Right here is a waypoint where you can get to places quicker without having to walk all the way there. Once you find the waypoints, of course, you'll be able to. Alright. Let's go. We got some leveling up to do before we Evil go. Evil beware. In. Got that right. Evil beware. Anyways, we got some leveling up to do before we go into the Den of Evil. Oh yeah, shrines. You run into shrines, they give you abilities. They're random every time. Some shrines heal you, heal your health, stamina, and mana as well. And some of them give you power-ups. Boost to attack, boost to def uh, resistances and stuff like that. The shrine we're on now gives us infinite stanima for a period of time. Pick up this gold. You don't need arrows. Another great thing I like about this game is scourging everything. Every crack and crevice. You never know what you'll find. Chests, hidden stashes, uh, lieutenant beasts that will drop amazing items, mini bosses as well. And it seems we've leveled up. 
Our first level. There you go. So all of identify uh, identifies the items that you pick up that are magic or unique or rare. You know, very useful to have. There will be times where I do grind my level off the record, off the recording, so we can uh, be ready for the next challenge, that sort of thing, so just like my previous Let's Plays, like Pokemon, uh, I will be doing some off, off recording leveling, grinding and stuff. So be ready for the next challenge. Because the end, end act bosses will not be easy to do without good gear or good level. By the time we get to the to the to the boss at the end of this act, we'll probably be level 15 or 16. So that being said. Let's level up and choose our next spell. Let's see, what do we want? To... How about lightning? Our name is Storm. We will have lightning spells. Bits. Another Stanima Shrine. All right. This is the map, right here. Sometimes you'll need it if you get lost. So... This is the inventory. We picked up some armor, so put that on. May not be much, but it's a start. This is your character sheet. Your character info. So there's your 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 resistances right here. Energy, vitality, dexterity, and strength. And this is all your your stuff. Your life, stamina, defense, attack rating, damage from your spells, and damage from base damage. Experience next to level. Your name and your class information and your level. This is your stamina, health, mana, second attack, first attack. This is where you can have your potions. And you click this little mini panel here. You got your character, inventory, skill tree, auto map, message log, quest log, and game menu. So, yeah. I really did enjoy this game when it first came out. Only beat this game three times. But yeah, <laughs> the first ever character I started this game on happens to be a paladin. No, necromancer. Scratch that. Necromancer was my first character when I played this game.
that up to uh, nightmare difficulty with that character. Then my second character was a paladin. I got all the way to hell difficulty with that character. This was back before you could alter your character with a hero editor or whatever. That's me grinding, grinding my level in gold the hard way and scavenging for the best items fighting mini bosses and stuff. Yeah, there's your mana potions. Another cinema steps, a shrine. They always come in handy. There's a whole bunch of them everywhere. Alright, into the den of evil we go! This place is trouble. Got that right. Kill all the monsters in the den. And we leveled up again. Not enough mana. Got a minor health potion there. Some gold to pick up. Excuse me while I, uh, I'll be right back. And we're back. I need mana. <laughs> the Den of Evil is one of the good places to level up in the, in the beginning of the game. You know, it's one of the first places to grind your level if you wanted to. I need mana. Let's level up. We leveled up again, so... Bring up my strength again, because I want to be able to wear the good armors. Alright. Increases the rate at which you recover mana. Let's get that. Passive skills. Ooh, 
I need mana. <laughs> Mana. Pick up the small charm. Another health potion. Yeah, they got stamina potions as well. Not enough mana. <laughs> I need mana. Get back here, coward. They run away. Racking this, sir. Not enough mana. That right there. This is a rare item. Let's put it on. If it's yellow or yellow is rare, blue is magic, green is set item, and gold, gold is orange, is unique. And there's a Orange is red. That's uh, I think rune item. No, oh, that's gray. But uh, yeah. we'll see what we can find as we go on on our journey. Oh. The armor we just put on has thorn damage. That's pretty decent. Got cavalry over mine. here, gotta take them out. I need mana. I need mana. Oh, we need to back out. We're gonna die. Not enough mana. Oh yeah, we're gonna see our first death, aren't we? Give it a minute to heal. <laughs> Gotta take that guy out. He likes to resurrect his minions. I need mana. Yep, I'm not playing with an enhanced modded character. I'm playing this the hard way. Right? Mana. Uh, well, there will be instances where I will die, probably. Alright. Let's bring up the uh, energy levels a little bit. And another warmth. Uh, 
Got some gold on the ground here. This cave has been purged of evil. Yep, this cave has been purged of evil. Return to Akara for a reward. We shall do that. Pick the town portal. Pick the map off. Sell some things. What can I do for you? There's leather armor. Alright, let's go talk to a car. You have cleansed the den of evil. You've earned my trust, and may yet restore my faith in humanity. Your reward is training in the skill of your choice. Alright. I think I'm gonna pick warmth for again, because we need that. It will increase the rate at which you, re you recover mana, so... All right, guys. Greetings. That'll do it for uh, first episode of Diablo of the Let's of my new Let's Play Diablo to Lord of Destruction. I am Stormstriker Essex Stein once again. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to click that like button, comment below, share it to friends, add to favorites, and click that subscribe button. And I will see y'all next time. Hope you guys enjoyed.